Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time in deck testing, we are testing out a Doctor Strange in protection aspect against the last uh, villain from the, uh, the Mad Titan's Shadow Box, and that will be Loki. Uh, as you can see, we still haven't picked which Loki we are facing at the first version. Uh, firstly, let's quickly look through uh, the deck we are using. Okay, well, we are on marvelcdb.com and um, we have a, a Doctor Strange protection deck which we are using. Uh, my protection decks usually always go to 45 cards. I just can't cut them down to 40, but it is what it is. Uh, let's look. Uh, so, in allies, we have uh, some staples. So, Father Voodoo is a good ally in protection. Especially with Doctor Strange. Mm, Clea is a staple blocker, so a jump blocker. Uh, Iron Fist is probably one of the best uh, protection allies there is, in my opinion at least. Mm. Then we have uh, Nick Fury, which is always really good in uh, heroes that can really cycle their deck with a lot of card draw, so Nick Fury will accelerate that. And you have a lot of uh, resource generation in the deck, so we are able to play Nick Fury quite easily. Uh, Starhawk is one of the newer allies, also a cheap and uh, good uh, jump blocker if needed, and also uh, his ability is quite, quite nice, uh, with addition to uh, some other cards we are using. Then of course uh, we have uh, Ever Vigilant uh, times 3. So, Ever Vigilant is a threat removal card and it requires you to be in aerial. So, we need to. These are basically just resource cards until we get our uh, Cloak of Levitation into play. But after that, these are really powerful because they ready your hero and remove 2 threat from, a, from the main scheme. So, that will be quite useful when we get aerial going. Uh, then uh, we have a shield spell. This is only one copy per deck, so it's quite powerful card. You need to be a mystic to play it, and Doctor Strange is. Um, you can uh, just ignore damage the dealt to you, so a pretty powerful uh, defensive card. A true crit uh, times three is another threat removal card, so when we are uh, defending, we just uh, remove threat uh, based on our ward. So it will be too, not, not a real powerful card, but a good way to remove threat because we are probably defending a lot. Or at least we can defend here and there, maybe when we get the top going or something like that. Uh, then uh, we have the energy cards, we have uh, the newer uh, energy or resource cards rather. We have the preservation, so this is a new card and I opted to go without the power of protections this time. So we have the basic ones and the preservation, so let's see how those work. In support we have a helicarrier, always a good uh, cheapening card. Then we have a queen carrier, that generates resources, which is useful. Uh, then we have a uh, the Knight's Nurse, which is here to basically we get a, a bad timely uh, stun or confuse, we can get rid of that if we don't have the ability to change the uh, status cards with Dr. Strange's own ability. Uh, then we have Armored Vest, so it helps us defend more and uh, energy barriers these are really good in conjunction with for example Starhawk so uh, we can mitigate what damage Starhawk takes so we can uh, uh, return Starhawk to our hand and play play Starhawk again next turn so good uh, synergy with the energy barriers hard to ignore uh, these are Bit iffy. Well, if we manage to not take damage, 
uh, we can have these in play and remove a threat from the main scheme. So the point of this whole uh, scenario is to keep the main scheme not advancing. And there is we just lose the game when it advances. So we try to not make that be able to advance at any time. Uh, then of course we have the Sorcerer Supreme, which is a really good card for Mystics. Every Mystic deck should run this. But of course, if you're playing uh, multiplayer, then <laughs> decide who will run it because it's a unique card. And that is basically the deck. So uh, nothing really fancy. I haven't played Doctor Strange in a while. Uh, he can be really powerful, but I'm trying out some newer cards here. So. We'll see how this goes, so uh, last thing we need to do is to uh, determine some uh, setup things. So we already have uh, the Infinity Gauntlet here. We needed to have the War in Asgard in play, so uh, we have the Acceleration Token from that and 6 Threat on there. So we'll quickly shuffle the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay, deck or the infinity stone deck so we get the first one which is a reality stone so discard an ally upgrade or support you control place this card in the infinity deck discard pile so we immediately know we are losing one of those uh, types of cards so we better have something to discard uh, and um, then we can just continue from there and uh, then we have to pick one low key card at random so we'll shuffle this quickly and uh, we have this version of Loki so a really high attack value and Loki has stalwart so we'll put the rest of these Loki cards uh, somewhere here out of play I'll just keep them over here for now then we'll add stalwart here so uh, Loki can't be stunned or confused then uh, this is uh, just here because we set the difficulty that we need to defeat two Lokis so it's the standard difficulty so whenever I defeat a Loki I can just flip this over so I remember I still need to defeat one more just to help help me <laughs> remember better and uh, that is the setup done so uh, I think that is all, so we can start playing, so let's get started. Okay, well, we are ready to begin, so let's uh, draw our open hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we get energy barrier, strength, spiritual meditation, true greed. Magical Enhancement and Mystical Studies, so... Uh, not really feeling these three right at the start. Actually, I think I keep the Magical Enhancement, because then we can use that, discard that for the Reality Stone. So that is actually a good, good key. Uh, I'm... Um, Discarding Mystical Studies and True Grit at this moment. So we'll uh, redraw two. And we get Ever Vigilant and Heart to Ignore. So uh, then the, uh, let's quickly shuffle the Invocation deck. And I'm using different colored sleeves for the Invocation deck so that I don't accidentally uh, shuffle any of these into the player deck. Just to help me keep, keep a better track of where the invocation cards are. So the first is uh, Seven Rings of Rakadar. So it gives up to three characters. It's a tough status card. Place this card in the invocation deck discard pile. So I think that is a pretty useless one in the start. So instead, I think we use uh, uh, Stephen Strange's ability. And discard it and reveal Papers of Valtor. So choose a status card in play, replace the card with a different status card, place the card in the invocation deck, discard pile. So still not a good one. Oh well. 
Uh, let's start by playing the spiritual meditation. So I'm actually keeping the uh, discard over there. Or let's just keep it underneath here. So uh, we'll play the spiritual meditation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit fumbly with uh, where to place the invocation deck. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep it underneath here and keep my hand somewhere inside. So uh, let's play the spiritual meditation. So we we'll drop two, and then we need to discard one. Let's see. Uh, we want to have money for that, but I think we'll discard the Ever Vigilant because that is useless at this moment. We'll play the other spiritual meditation to draw two, and then we need to discard one, and uh, uh, we probably will discard uh, Hard to Ignore. And that is that, so then we'll flip We'll use uh, Genius to play Energy Barrier. We'll use Strength to play Energy Barrier. So let's put some tokens on them. And uh, then I'll use the Armored Vest to play Magical Enhancements. And We don't have a status card in place, so uh, we can't use the vapors at this moment. So uh, we'll just uh, do a thwart action for, for three thwarts over here. So we'll uh, drop that to three left. And that is our whole turn. Uh, we ready up. So this stays in play until the end of our turn, but before that the reality stone will discard it. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. We need to remember that the infinity gauntlet boosts uh, both stats on the villain. Oh, and uh, this, so uh, we add... Oh yeah, uh, forget that what I said. So we add two threat because of this. Then if Loki attacks, Loki has four attack here, so Loki is attacking, I will defend. So I'm, I have a defense of three. Loki hits us for uh, four plus attacks this card to Loki, so this gives uh, Loki's crown, so plus one to thwart uh, scheming. Uh, then let's see, four, I'm using one counter from energy barrier to deal one damage here and uh, we don't take any damage uh, we then activate the reality stone so it goes into the discard and uh, we discard magical enhancements and we get an encounter card, which is uh, Master of Illusions. Attached to Loki, when Loki would take damage from an attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is a treachery, prevent all damage from this attack and discard this card. We'll put it over here. And uh, we actually forgot to draw our hand at the end of the round, so we'll do that. Just in case we wanted to play something to remove threat or something. Uh, we don't have anything, but we got the uh, Clock of Levitation, which is good. So, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, we have some uh, cards to play here. So, I'm using the Astral Projection. Actually, we could remove Threat. Uh, I don't think we have enough resources for that at the moment, so... Uh, I'll use the Astral Projection and Starhawk at this point to play the Clock of Levitation so that we can ready. And uh, then I will just do a, a towards action here. And that is basically our whole turn, so 
Uh, we keep this in hand. We draw back up to two. Six, uh, five. So one too many. So we get hard to ignore, ever vigilant, Nick Fury. So let's see what we can do with those next turn. But uh, we, of course, ready up. Uh, we go to the villain phase. We add two threat over here. Uh, Loki attacks. I will defend again. So uh, Loki is 4 plus 2 is 6. So I'll remove one from here and one from here. So I'll take one damage. And uh, reflect one damage back. And this is not an attack, so Master of Illusion does not trigger. And uh, we get an uh, infinity stone, so it is the mind stone. You are confused. Uh, if you were already confused, this carbon card at random from your hand, place this card in the infinite stone deck discard pile. So that is up next turn. Uh, then we get an encounter card. It is Div Divious Sorcery. Uh, when revealed, hero, you are stunned. If you were already stunned, take two damage. So we are stunned. And that is not a problem because we can just turn it into a uh, tough status for next turn. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, this turn we have some choices, so uh, we could play Clea and then uh, we could ready and uh, should we play Nick Fury actually? I think we play Nick Fury. So we'll spend ever uh, our whole hand basically to play Nick Fury. We draw three cards. We get Wong, Protective War, and Iron Fist. Uh, not that useful. Well, it is what it is. So we'll use the Cloak of Levitation. Be ready. We'll exhaust and play Vapors of Valtor, change one status card, so we'll change the stun to the top. And uh, uh, the next card is uh, Winds of Vatum, so now I really would have wanted to have Ever Vigilant in hand, <laughs> but it is what it is. So uh, Nick Fury will uh, defeat the uh, Team Warrow in Asgard, so when defeated, reveal the top card of the Infinity Stone deck, swap Loki with a random set aside Loki. So this goes in there. So we reveal one stone from here, and it is the Soul Stone. Heal three damage from the villain and give it the face down rules card. Place this card into the Infinity Stone discard. Uh, we need to randomly determine a different Loki. It is that low kip, so this one goes away. And this Loki, Loki cannot take damage while a side scheme is in play, and it's a 2 2 low kip, so now Loki loses stalwart. And uh, Nick Fury takes one consequence of damage. And uh, I think that is our turn, so we ready up. We draw back up to five, so two more cards, Queen Carrier and Master of Mystic Arts. <laughs> really good for next turn. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Oh, this acceleration token is gone. Uh, Loki attacks, Nick Fury will defend. So 3 plus 2 is 5, Nick Fury is defeated. And uh, we'll get an. Oh, yeah, we trigger the Mind Stone, so you are confused. Well, okay. And this goes to the Discord, and Soul Stone heal 3 damage. So we'll heal Loki to full. And that is that, so encounter card is uh, Infinite Mischief. When 
reveal shuffle the infinity stone deck discard into the infinity stone deck and reveal the top card so we do that And the top card is uh, Reality Stone again. So discard ally, upgrade or support you control. So I think one of the energy barriers will go next turn. You have to save, save one of those for that. But that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, I think we will first use Protective Ward to play Master of the Mystic Arts and play Winds of Atoom, so we get three cards. Then we'll exhaust and play the Winds of Atoom for three cards. Play Spiritual Meditation, draw two cards. And then we need to discard one card. I think I will discard the Sanctum Sanctorum and uh, the top card is Images of Icon uh, we will ready and then we will play our, hmm, we have some choices so I use uh, Protective War to play Night Nurse. And Night Nurse comes into play with some tokens, just a moment. So I'm only putting two medical counters here because I'm immediately using it to remove the Confused. Then uh, uh, heal also one damage. Uh, then what do we want to play next? I think we could play uh, Iron Fist, for example. So we don't have well. Um, let's play them. Oh yeah. Um, Okay, well, let's play Iron Fist. I'll use... No. Let's set up a bit more. So I'll play the Queen Carrier. I'll use... Uh, Art to Ignore. Uh, energy Barrier and uh, Magic Blast for Lift. Or maybe not. I keep the heart to ignore and use iron fist. No, I'll use Wong. Uh, I'll play uh, heart to ignore. Down, keep iron fist in hand. Then I will. Actually, I won't even play heart to ignore. I will exhaust to. No. Yes, I, I'll play the heart to ignore. Because I forgot I just played the Queen Carrier, so I, I'm uh, playing the images of Icon. So I confuse the villain and remove Fortress from the scheme, place discard in the invocation discard. So we reveal uh, Crimson Bands of Citrux, keep the Iron Fist in hand, so we remove 4 from here, confuse the villain, then uh, we use that source. So uh, next thing, I think we will flip to Alter Ego. Draw back up to 6. Uh, 2 crit times 2. Master of Mystic Arts, uh, Magical Enhancements, Energy and Iron Fist. So next turn, I think it's gonna be double Crimson Bands turn. But we'll see. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Loki tries to activate, but he's confused, so we rem remove the confused and uh, we'll get an encounter card. And it is Trickster. 
So swap Loki with the random set aside Loki till and Loki activates against you. So let's see what which one we get. Okay, and it is again the Loki with a lot of attack. Okay, so Loki schemes for uh, three plus four seven. Ouch! So we are at ten. That is not nice. So we really need to remove some threat soon. But uh, yeah, we are ready here. And well, that was painful, but it is what it is. Uh, well, that is that turn. Oh yeah, and the uh, reality stone uh, discards one of these, so that is definitely that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Also, this Loki version has the stalwart, so we can't stun or confuse uh, the villain. So that is bad. But let's see what we can do. So uh, we don't want to use Stephen Strange's ability. Uh, we don't have any actions in Alter Ego. We'll flip. We will play Master of Mystic Arts. I'll use the Queen Carrier. I'll discard both two grids. Actually. Uh, I'll use the energy for this. So we stun the enemy, then we deal 7 damage, but we can't stun. And this is not an attack, so the Master of Illusions doesn't trigger. And then um, we will uh, do it again. We'll pay Magical Enhancements and one in crit. Uh, play the Crimson Band, so again stun and 7. But uh, Stalwart stops the stun, so we shuffle our Invocation deck. Okay, and uh, we get um, confuse the villain and remove portrait from the scheme. One. Mm. I think we need to do that. So, we'll uh, ready. We'll use uh, Iron Fist to the images of Icon. So we remove four from here. Confuse the villain, but the villain has uh, a stalwart still, so we won't do that. So. That is everything we can do. We'll keep the true grid in hand. We drop back up to five. Oh yeah, the top card of the invocation deck is Crimson Bands again. So that is at least good. So we have a Helicarrier, Magic Blast, Preservation, Ever Vigilant, and True Grid. So pretty interesting hand. I have wanted to see a bit more double resources or something. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Loki attacks. Oh yeah, ready up everything. I'll take it with Doctor Strange. So Loki hits for uh, four plus two is six, but we'll remove the tough. Uh, we'll trigger hard to ignore. Remove one from here. We'll flip the top card so we get the mind stone. Did I shuffle the reality stone here? I did. Just a moment. I think I need to <laughs> do a different sleep for these two, so I won't do that mistake all the time. Uh, so we have the Mind Stone for next turn, so you are confused and stuff, all that stuff. And uh, uh, Encounter card is a Casket of Ancient Winters. Winter 1, when defeated, reveal the top card of the Infinite Stone deck. Swap Loki with a random set aside Loki villain, so we put that into play. It comes to play with 5 threats, and it gives the boost boost icon. So, 
that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. First things first, I think we will... Uh, don't want to risk the magic blast thing, so... Oh yeah, we had true crit in hand. I didn't play it. Well, yeah. Could have uh, played the true crit to remove two threats, but it is what it is, so... We'll use the Queen Carrier, Magic Blast and True Crit to play Heli Carrier. And discard this. Uh, we'll use Heli Carrier and Preservation to play the Crimson Bands. So uh, we get rid of Loki. So this Loki is defeated. Put it in the victory display, which is for example here. We only need to defeat one more Loki. So let's see what Loki version we get. And it is uh, the scheming Loki, so I think now we need to stay in a hero mode a bit longer. So Stalwart, Victory 1, uh, 3 sc the Scheme, 1 Attack, and... Oh yeah, when defeated. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded to reveal that side scheme, so we need to trigger that. Uh, just a moment... Well, at least the advances went away. Open the Bifrost, so uh, that's annoying. We are getting swamped by these, but I think we need to try and uh, rush 20 damage to Loki now. So, yeah, this Loki version also has the Stalwart, so 20 damage to go. Okay, and uh, uh, I th actually think we will not use this, we will save it for next turn, we'll put the uh, Ever Vigilant the discard uh, for that uh, win. So, so we have the Seven Rings of Rocket Door, should play that to get the tough. Uh, I think I'll uh, thwart for two here. I'll ready. I'll thwart for. Actually, let's forget this. We just saw all the uh, side schemes go, so I'm double thwarting this, so six from here. So, uh, or, or four from here. So, uh, reveal the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. Swap Loki with a random set aside Loki. So, might get a <laughs> not so bad Loki. So, we get the Soul Stone, heal three damage, and. Uh, and give a face down boost card. Okay. So, we get a random Loki now. And it is the Loki's attack scan piercing one, so it goes through tough. That is annoying. So uh, we put that into play. Okay, and uh, uh, there's no point in getting that, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ready up. Draw back up to five. Keep that. I want to re double the deck. Get an extra encounter card. 
Okay, um, two more cards, uh, one more card, and it is energy. Really appreciated this point. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Loki attacks. I think I will defend. So, three plus. Uh, zero, so we take one. Oh, uh, plus one, so we take two. But actually, we take only one because I'll reflect one of them back. And uh, you are confused. We put confuse into play. Then uh, we heal three damage and give the villain. Extra boost card for next turn, I'll just place it there. Encounter cards. First one is Gang Up. Uh, Loki attacks again. Uh, nothing I can do, so 3 plus 2 plus if the villain is attacking and it uh, stun that character. Okay, well, I'm stunned and confused. And we take 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 damage and reflect 1 and actually Loki heal 1 damage so I'm just putting 1 there now this goes away then uh, you are stunned if you were already stunned take 2 damage so I'll take another 2 damage ouch and uh, yeah that was the villain phase Let's go to the next hero phase. So, Oki doesn't have Stalwar anymore. First thing first, we will uh, ready up. We will play the Eye of Agamotto. So we have the trio of the resource cards to play. The cloak. I will use Night's Nurse to heal one damage, remove the, uh, let's remove the, con used, yeah, we will thwart for two here, we'll play, uh, Sorcerer Supreme, and Actually, we don't play that. I will play Brother Voodoo. We we'll use the preservation. Actually, <laughs> I forgot the synergies here. So we'll play Brother Voodoo using all these three. So we. Draw five cards, get an event, two, three, four, five. I'll just pick shield spell. No, I'll pick um, grit. Shuffle the deck. Then, um, I'll use the preservation and true crit to we'll heal one damage. Then we'll play the Sorcerer Supreme. Then Brother Voodoo will uh, attack for one. And take one damage. Uh, we're ready up. We draw back up to uh, six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, spiritual meditation, ever vigilant, are two, true greed, hard to ignore, and Wong. So Wong, we need because we want to play, uh, get rid of the seven rings to get something else. I will go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat to the main scheme, and uh, Loki attacks. 
I think I will just defend here or well we'll just uh, use brother voodoo to block so uh, there's an additional boost card so we'll pick both so plus two uh, plus three plus four five <laughs> okay so seven damage and this is defeated encounter card is oh yeah we reveal uh, power stone so you are stunned if you were already stunned take two damage uh, shadows of the past I of course now I don't have uh, the protective ward in hand but it is what it is that is really annoying so we get uh, Baron Mordo this might be really bad for us so open the dark dimension place the top card of the invocation deck face down underneath this scheme so that actually helps us thanks um, boost here Okay, vapors, much better. Then uh, we shuffle counter spells and talk casting here, and this is a really slim deck now, so it's really bad. And uh, there's three red here. Okay. And that is the villain phase, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So we are <laughs> nearing the end game here. Let's see what we can do. First off, I think we will use Queen Carrier, Helic Carrier, or Eye of Akamoto to play Wong. And Exhaust Wong, choose to either heal one damage from your identity or discard top card with discard the vapors. And we get the Winds of Watum. So I am using the Winds of Watum to draw three cards. And uh, we shuffle our deck. Okay. And we don't have the one card that is over there, but it is okay. So uh, we get the Crimson Bands, which is really good. And uh, I'll use Spiritual Meditation to draw two, discard one, and I'll discard Heart to Ignore. I'll play Master of Mystic Arts, use the Sanctum Sanctorum, and use Genius to play Crimson Pants. So, again, this is not an attack, so we stun, deal seven. Uh, we'll ready. We'll play the Crimson Bands again. I'll use the Strength. So uh, we stun again and deal 7. And we will play Magic Blast to finish off the game. So. Magic Blast to Loki, and we deal, uh, let's see, we'll discard the top card, so it's uh, mental, so it confuses the enemy, but we defeat Loki, and that is enough, we deal 5 damage, and that is game, so, pretty, pretty interesting game here. Of course, uh, Doctor Strange is one of the strongest uh, characters in the game at the moment, but I haven't defeated Loki even on standard before, uh, at least on camera, so I wanted to get this over with and uh, play this with uh, Doctor Strange. Still a really fun, uh, uh, fun game, at least on my part. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.